You're watching Sooner Football with Brent Venables from the Mathis Home Studio. Mathis Home, your official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. On the goal line, Donovan Smith takes the shotgun snap, hands to Steve, met at the goal line, dropped in the end zone. It is a safety! It's a safety! Grayson Holton! Wow! Hello, everyone. Sooner football with Brent Venables is beginning right now. And, uh, Coach, it's not too long after the final gun yep. as we do this after the ball game. Um, it's a win. Oklahoma beats Houston 16-12, to 2-0 and moving forward. Um, your thoughts? Yeah, well, I'm thankful for victory. Uh-huh. And uh, I know what winning feels like, and I know what losing feels like. And, and uh, finding a way to win, I'm proud of our guys for their fight, uh, for their resolve, uh, for their stick to itness, if you will. Mm-hmm. And uh, on a night where a lot of things didn't go our way, uh, many things because we self-inflicted, many uh, let a, a team hang around and we had some opportunities, I felt like, in the first half where we could have gone up by three scores and just let them hang around, did enough things wrong and made enough mistakes uh, to, you know, have an opportunity to lose the game uh, mm-hmm. as well. So, uh, you know, there's things that... Um, that helped us win uh, in regards to uh, field position. I thought Luke Elzinga was, <laughs> of all people, I'm, I'm, I'm bragging on our punter, and he was fantastic. You know, had eight punts. He had uh, five that were inside the 20, three were inside the 10-yard line, and uh, two inside the five. So that, that, that's, as we know, that's really big. And one of the biggest ones, uh, you know, allowed us to get the, the safety. Grayson Halton busted through there and got the safety. and really still the, the game for us uh, at the end of the day. But, um, you know, I thought Luke was fantastic. We won the turnover margin again. Uh, so we're plus seven. You know, we are leading the country a week ago uh, that way. And so that'll only uh, help out that way. Red zone offense, we got down there twice. We scored two touchdowns. So we were two or two there. Um, you know, uh, uh, Danny Stussman had 15 tackles. And uh, so I think he, he was, had seven or so on the first on the opening drive. He yeah. kind of set the tone. Yeah. So he he did what Danny uh, does. Yeah. And I don't want to ever take him for granted. Uh, we needed every one of them tonight. Uh, Jake Roberts had a couple of huge catches. Yeah. Uh, one in the as we're milking the clock and, and trying to run the game out and and uh, uh, a great play there on the play action. You know, down in the end zone. And he uh, had to uh, at least on the at least on the play you're talking yeah. about, he had to maneuver his body. Yeah, the ball was uh, made a great bit, catch. Yeah, yeah. It sure did. And uh, so his first uh, career touchdown here as a soon, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, in a night that we really uh, needed it, Grayson Halton had uh, his first safety and his first two uh, career long hit or career uh, high, rather, uh, two tackles for loss. Yeah. Uh, we had several guys that went down with injuries, whether it was Peyton Bowen or uh, Kendall Dolby. And uh, some guys really stepped up. Sammy Amasigo had a career high five tackles, two TFLs. And uh, sure is. And Robert had a fantastic uh, interception uh, that was a huge play uh, in the game and plus territory. And uh, But again, we, we lost the middle eight. Uh, we missed a field goal. We had a bust for a touchdown on the first play of the second, second half on a night where Houston was really struggling to – put anything together, uh-huh. uh, we allowed them to possess the football, uh, chew up clock, and, um, and uh, we were just a little bit off. We didn't tackle particularly well. We didn't leverage uh, the ball uh, very well. And uh, Houston took advantage, and they, to me, they played to a script that we talked about almost every day during the course of the week. This is how Houston, this is the game Houston wants to play. Mm-hmm. It's just exactly how it went other than not getting the win. You know, they, it went according to their script. And we, right. we made enough mistakes where we deserved to lose, but we did have enough fight and made enough plays to, uh, we did deserve to win. Mm-hmm. And uh, we earned that. And, uh, but boy, did we, we lost our mind and uh, just really um, embarrassed it with a couple of the discipline calls and had a personal foul. And I think that was a 12 play, 20 yard drive uh, <laughs> that they chewed up seven minutes. You that's know, right, they didn't that's go right. into that's punting, right. but yeah. You know, I'm just, 
not much into giving people things, and uh, we got to be better than that. And uh, and then we, you know, and we're milking the clock there at the end, and in every uh, inch of grass is is hard to come by on one of those kind of nights. And then we we really handle under the circumstances, other than getting a second first down, we got the first first down where we're running the cl uh, the clock, right? You know, and they're forcing them to use their timeouts and. Knowing that, hey, we're going to give them the ball, probably pin them somewhere inside the. If we don't get a first down, we're going to give them the ball inside the five, inside the ten, and with just a handful of seconds, you know, on somewhere under ten seconds to right. go. Right. Yeah. And uh, instead, we we get backed up. We, uh, you know, as I said, Tommy Tommy tough guy there, rip our helmet off, and just no discipline uh, in the most critical moment, in a pressure filled moment when you got to be at your best. We uh, just misrepresented ourselves. And uh, and again, give give them an opportunity uh, with again no timeouts and uh, you know 20 uh, seconds or so on the clock there to try to go down the field and uh, we had a chance in the first half you know in my opinion to where we have a chance to go up three scores and we mm -hmm. just missed some real opportunities there and in one of those games where um, they don't have a lot when the matchup's going to be tough for them you know where our defense is our strength. Mm -hmm. And uh, their defense is their strength, and, and but we, we, to me, we we had a, a, an opportunity to really um, make things really hard for them. We we went out of our way to, uh, you know, not take advantage of it, and uh, we had to find a way to to win the game there late. So, got a lot to get better at. There's no doubt about it. But like I said, thankful for victory. Got to get some guys healthy and get them back. We'll see where that is. You know, we're gonna have a really good. Uh, uh, Tulane team coming in here uh, yeah. that's playing. They, they lost a heartbreaker to Kansas State, but uh, it's a, a team that's playing well, you know, on both sides of the ball. Yeah. So uh, injury-wise, there were players on and off all yeah. night long, but it sounds like there was nothing that was you're done for the year. You have guys nicked and, and yeah. should uh, replace, should get the, most of them back. Yeah. Uh, Jake, yep. Jake didn't play uh, the second half and uh, made some guys go out with some cramps. Uh, you know, on offense and and then uh, on defense, we had Peyton and uh, Kendall Dolby and uh, Kip Lewis uh, that missed some snaps there that uh, I think that we'll get those guys back quickly. Yeah, we'll take a break now. And when we come back, we will go to first half highlights of Oklahoma and Houston. And uh, you'll want to stay with those and hear what the coach has to say after that first half when we take a look at the statistics. We'll do that after this. Sooner Football with Brent Venables is brought to you by Mathis Home, the official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. Welcome back to Sooner Football with Brent Venables from the Mathis Home Studio. 0.2. Points left, points right. Headed toward the football, toe to leather, and we are underway. It is a high end over end kick that will come down five yards deep in the end zone. Jackson Arnold in the shotgun. Gavin Sawchunk, the running back. Double tight end set. First snap of the game is a pitch jet sweep to Deion Burks, and it's blown up. In motion, Bauer sharp. It is a handoff to Gavin Sawchuk that gets a yard, and that's it. And now it's back. Elzinga, left-footed kick is a high spiraling nice. driving kick. Backing Mused inside his 20. He touched it, but it bangs off of him and rolls oh, down the sidelines. Pick it up. The Sooners dive on it at the 10. I think he touched it. Let's see the ruling. That's yeah, right. Sooner ball. Here's the snap. Play action. Throw, slant, caught, goal line, touchdown. Brennan Thompson. Sanford the running back and they'll hand him the ball sweeping left mm. met smashed spins away falls forward to the 11 that's still a one yard loss snap play action rolling right looking deep Smith still looking flushed right throws deep laid across it is a diving catch made at the 15 snap play action wants to run and he's caught in the backfield and dropped Claps his hands and takes the football. It's a handoff to Jenkins, sweeping nice. left. Bam! Sat down right at the line of scrimmage. Another Danny Stutzman tackle. Smith, back to pass. Looks right, runs back left. He's caught in the backfield. Dropped! That's a sack! Dominic Williams! Jack Martin, the field goals. This is Kim trying the field goal, and it is up and good. And I, I never hit much. 29-yard line, Houston. I didn't Barnes feel off. like I needed to. Barnes the back. Arnold has it. Hand off Barnes, right side, room, 25, first down, 30, skipped by a guy out near the 35. Sooner Football with Brent Venables is brought to you by 
Riverwind Casino. Good times, great rewards. The best place to gear up for game day is shop.soonersports.com. Mathis Home, official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. Sooner Football with Brent Venables is brought to you by Mathis Home, the official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. Man in motion is sharp. Play action. Jackson Arnold, deep drop, looks deep, lets it fly. Brennan Thompson, got it! 35-yard line in Houston territory. Arnold's got it. Going to throw. Quickly caught. That is Burks at the 25 to the 20. First down. They want to go fast. Snap. Arnold looking to throw. Pocket collapsing around him. Trying to get out. He spins. Near side. Still looking. Now he'll run it. 20 down the sidelines. Tiptoes to the 15. Who said Teddy? There's the snap. Play action. Lob in zone. Bauer sharp. No. Jake Roberts touchdown. Wide open. Beautiful play design. Not good. Can I Walker replaces him. Hand off Jenkins up Ooh. the middle. Bam! Sit down. <laughs> Danny Stutzman planted him. Man in motion. Snap. It's a handoff on third down up the middle. Not much. Jenkins got one. I like the I like the style. Slant batter caught by Burks. He's loose. 45 to the 40. Up into the 39 yard line. Now he takes the football. Fakes the pitch. Runs it himself. Breaks one tackle. Dives forward for a yard or two. Backs into the gun. Has the football. He will hand it off. Steed sweeping right. Sees a wall of crimson. He's wrapped up. Pushed back. Won't go down. Now he will. Oh, somebody came in and lit up the pile. Muse inside the 10 waiting for it. Snap back. There's the kick. High end over in. Muse backing inside the five. He'll take it at the three. And he is wrapped up at the three yard line. Great coverage. Half OU forced to turn over and score. Let's see if they can do it again here. It's a handoff. Sweeping right. Jenkins cuts it up the middle to the five. That's all he got. One yard. There's the snap. Going to hand it off this time. Bouncing it sideways. Nowhere to go. I mean, they just cannot get any room in the running game. Man in motion right to left. Play action. Smith going to look deep. Throws across the middle. Got a man in Sooner territory at the 40-yard line. It's Stephon Johnson. The former Cowboy takes it down near field goal range to the 36. Redshirt freshman from Lawton High School. The Houston kicker. He's got the distance, and it is good. Sooner Football with Brent Venables is brought to you by Mathis Home, the official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. This segment is brought to you by Community Coffee, family-owned Community Coffee, the official brewed coffee of OU Athletics. Taste the difference family makes. Welcome back as we take a look at the halftime statistics and the most important up at the top, 14 to 6, the Sooners are leading. And coach, it was a, a night of uh, struggling really for both offenses, but these numbers here, they had the one turnover. Each, you had one sack each, but uh, offensive numbers were, were not big. But, uh, you know, there's, there's something, you, you played some defense, so you had something to do with their numbers being down. Yeah, again, I was, um, there are several things that you're, um, that you disappointed in, um, but for me, the the last drive, the last two drives of the of the first half were really disappointing. And uh, we we possess the ball for around 20 seconds on offense, and we go three and out uh, under two minutes to go. And uh, we got to be better than that. And and then we give them the ball, and we let them go right down the, in the field, and they kick, a, I believe, a 48-yard field goal right before half, made it 14-6, to six and gave them a little bit of hope. And then they get yeah. the opening kickoff, and they take it in the second half, and we, they go right down the field, and, and uh, they make a conversion, and then we get the signal in late, and we got a bust, and uh, they run it in for an easy layup touchdown. Uh, but we did respond. They go for two, and in a four-point game yeah. <laughs> where you got a safety, and you know, we got to stop on a two-point conversion. There's your four points. Yeah. And so you, you got perspective. It was um, a little Jekyll and Hyde on defense, in my opinion. And uh, but we made some critical plays. Again, Robert Spears uh, interception. That was uh, a fantastic. Play. Yeah, really good play. And then offense didn't back him up after it, but you right. but you got the pick. Yeah. And then again the you know the two-point conversion stop, and then the safety and. Uh, and again, we forced again several uh, punts, and and again the second half, you know they they have six drives, 
and uh, they had the first touchdown, uh, the first touchdown drive there. But then after that, it goes punt, interception, punt, uh, safety, and then you know we were able to stop them there on that last drive. Coach, can you can you pinpoint a thing or two yes. that offensively that is just keeping you from getting to where you know you need to be? Yeah, I mean, it's you've had some injuries, but yeah, they're, they're yeah. I mean, that that's a I mean that's a real thing. We gotta we gotta help guys grow up fast. You know, uh -huh. so you lost two starters at you know receiver. You lost you know some guys that. Uh, would be starting for you up front on the offense line. That stuff matters, you know, and it's sure not it to uh, say that doesn't you got a freshman, essentially a freshman quarterback that he's figuring out and he made some fantastic plays and made some really good decisions. And then and we missed a few opportunities there too that can help you. And, and when things are a little hard, you know, to come by and you miss some of those opportunities, they're, act they're, they're magnified tenfold. Yeah. And then, and then you're a little bit off to me. We're a little bit off on defense, and I'm going to always be hard on them. And uh, they, they understand what, you know, uh, the standards are and our expectations and how we're going to win, you know. Uh, just control our controllables on defense. And uh, like I said, some sloppy tackling, some uh, didn't leverage some boot plays, several boot plays, you know, when they're able to run the ball incrementally, you know, not for like eight yards a clip, but – you know, five yards a clip is five yards a clip, and yeah. that's not staying on schedule on defense. And next thing you and know, that's basically what they had right, yeah. for the game. Yeah, and that yeah. little swap boot, you know, play. Yeah. They little. They, now that's open because you know we're we're not we're not controlling it and being efficient like we need to and like we're capable of. And uh, and then again, we had some pe some some penalties and you had the one you know uh, on us on defense that. Just and again on a night where man things are are gonna be, it's gonna be one of those kind of nights that I just that that kind of stuff would just drive you crazy and, and again put you in a position where you can lose the game. Um, Burks is is someone who's who's producing for you, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you kind of expected it, but it's good to see. No doubt. And uh, we got to get some other guys. You know, we had several drops, hit guys right in the face mask several times. And you got to make some tough competitive plays, huh? whether you're a senior or you're a freshman, you're at Oklahoma. Yeah. And uh, so uh, there would be some tough con you know, contested plays. we got to come up with them. You know, maybe it's the Bauer Sharp catches it and they come and they hit him and he gets flipped over and they say it's a no catch and they say they're reviewing him. I don't know what that showed. Uh, I'm interested to see. But we had some things that, man, you, you, you create your opportunities and you get some, some good luck along the way. you, you got to create that. And uh, uh, and uh, so things, you know, at times tonight were really, really, really hard. Yeah. And uh, but like I said, thankful uh, for victory, and we'll figure it out through a win. Well, we'll go to third quarter highlights, and actually see. Uh, we'll catch back up with you after the ball game. So we see second half highlights, and there was a lot of excitement. So we'll do that right now. Looks left, looks right, approaches the football, to the weather. Leather, it's another good kick. Driving kick all the way through the end zone. 172 to 139. That is a stunner. Smith, deep shot near sideline and intercepted by Woody Washington. And a flag is down. No way. Houston closed the first half with a field goal there and scoring. March again, deep shot, far side, man wide open, caught at the 10, touchdown. Man Jack, Man Jack in a busted coverage. Steed now goes in motion, the running back. Smith looks right, wants to throw, lobs end zone, over through his man. A high side, no, low side of the field. Arnold back to pass across the middle, caught. That'll be a first down by Jake Roberts. Sooners just two of seven on third downs. They're going to run it with Arnold up the middle to the 50. He's got room 45, and he's got the first down out of bounds at the Houston 41. Arnold, play action, looks deep, flings it for the end zone, and it's poorly thrown and intercepted at the five-yard line. Turns around and tells his running back something. Now he's got the football. He's going to hand it to him. Sneed hammered by Danny Stutzman. Now he got away, and he's chased down by Omasigo. And then he kind of shouts in his face. Smith back to pass. Stumbles and falls. That'll be a sack. No. no. Uh, the answer is no. El Zingo with the boot. Wobbly. Far side. No fair catch. Taken to 25 and blessed. Woo! Thank you to our Cornerstone Television partners, OU Health, og and &E, Fowler Auto Group, and Coca-Cola. 
Sooner Football with Brent Venables is brought to you by Mathis Home, the official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. Smith has it. Straight drop. Looking left. Throws across the middle. It is intercepted. Did he hang on? Robert Spears Jennings. They're trying to unpile. No indication yet. He's got the football. Snap back. Hold down. Kick is away. Plenty of distance. And it is no good. Smith hands to Sanford. Runs right. Bounces it outside. Taken off his pins. Good tackle. In motion. Goes Muse. Snap. Smith. Handoff. Running right. No gain again. Run game. Nothing doing. They go with a four wide receiver set. Arnold back to pass. Three man rush. Steps up. Throws late across the middle. Caught by Burks. I think he's got the first down. He does. Third down. Back to pass. Arnold looks right. Quick throw. Slant pattern. Caught at the 30. It's Burks again. In motion. Barnes. Play action. And they oh, jumped. Wow. There's the snap. Free play. Arnold. Deep shot. Far sidelines. It is intercepted. Won't matter. They got the first down on the offsides. Eighth penalty for Houston. First down snap. Arnold will run it himself. Right side to 35 to the 40. Good yardage out to the 41. They picked up two huge first downs so far on this drive. Thompson in motion. Handoff Barnes up the middle. Crashes away eight to the 45. Luke Elzinga to kick it. Makai Muse deep to receive. Snap back. There's the boot. High, wobbly, short. It's going to bounce at the 20. Takes a sooner bounce to the 15. Onto the 10. Inside the 10. Rolling down to the 7. To the 6. To the 5 yard line. The goal line. Donovan Smith takes the shotgun snap. Hands to Steed. Bet at the goal line. Dropped to the end zone. It is a safety. It's a safety. Grayson Holton. Here we go. Doherty. He punts it. High driving. Far sideline. Bowman. Fair catch called for. Backing to the 25. Falls down. Roberts and Helms all on the field. Snap. Play action. Going to throw. Lob across the middle. Caught. Roberts behind the defense. 45. Midfield. What a call. <laughs> Snap back to Elzinga. Got to get it away. And he does. High hanger. Near sideline. Muse. Fair catch called for inside the 15. Taken at the 13 with 29 seconds. Seven seconds from their own 36. Clock stops. Starts. Smith back to pass. Flushed right. This will be the last play. Looking. Throws short. Caught at the 45. Up to midfield, slips, caught from behind, balls loose, kicked around, picked up by a Cougar, tackled from behind, whistles blow, you can unhitch the wagon. Thank God, let's get out of town. Put the ponies in the barn and we might all go there as well. And the final score is Oklahoma 16 and Houston 12. Here's this week's final stats brought to you by Dos Equis, the official import beer of OU Athletics. Go for Dos. Enjoy Dos Equis responsibly. And there you see the final numbers. Prettiest one is the top number, 16 to 12. And uh, coach, you grow from games like this. That is, that is one thing you do. It, it sure beats playing well and losing. You play, you, you you find a way to win, and you can make improvements. Anything there, though, statistically <laughs> that jumped out? Yeah, again, uh, just what you said, a four-point uh, victory. Yeah. And uh, last time Willie was here, Willie, Coach Willie Fritz, the head coach at Houston, they won. Uh, they lost 40 to 35. And uh, I'd rather win 16 to 12 than <laughs> than 40 to 35. Um, and, uh, and the last time, again, we played uh, Houston, you know, I think at well, 16 in 2016. Yeah. So we, uh, we know that that's a, a team that the last couple of years, they've actually played really well on the road. I believe yeah. they're, uh, I think they were like 10-0 and 0 in their last 10 road games. Yeah. Uh, they've actually performed as a team uh, really well on the road. So that's, that, that's the number one statistic is, yeah. is you know, Find a way to, to win an, an ugly game, you know, take an ugly victory. Absolutely. Let me ask you about the running backs because I thought, even though the numbers weren't explosive, yeah. they're not what you want them to be, but it sure seemed like you got good play. I know Barnes was blocking his tail off yeah. at times, yeah. and uh, you, you scattered them in for a quarter here, a quarter here for another. Uh, your overall thoughts with, with your guys back there? Yeah, no, again, I, I, I saw the same thing, you know, uh, Javante had you know great explosiveness and he had some really good tough runs and man he was uh, hitting the holes hard and and I thought Houston plugged them up good too you know they fit the you know they fit things uh, well for the most part I think we had a we had a couple of draws a couple of quarterback plus one run games that I thought 
Uh, early yep. we had the, the counter read and, and uh, Jackson ran it well there. And then another time on a quarterback draw, uh, you know, he did a really nice job. Javante's a lead blocker on that uh, as well. And then Javante again uh, ran the ball with purpose at times, just again, 12 times for 40 yards. And, and they, everything was hard, you know. Uh, Gavin, I think he just had four for four. And then uh, Jackson, you know, scrambled on a few and had a few more that were designed uh, that, you know, did an efficient job under the circumstances. Yep. All right, we'll take a, uh, a break. And when we come back, we'll head to the locker room and hear from the Sooner players. Come back after that and talk about next week's opponent. We'll do that after this break. Sooner Football with Brent Venables is brought to you by Mathis Home the official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. It's time now for this week's Player of the Game, presented by Groundworks, preferred foundation repair company of the Sooners. Sanford, the running back, and they'll hand him the ball. Sweeping left, met, smashed, spins away, falls forward to the 11. That's still a one-yard loss. Sends him the football to hand off to Snead nice. up the middle. Got. Not quite enough for the first down. He's tackled just shy of the 35. Kenai Walker replaces him. Hand off Jenkins up Ooh. the middle. Bam! Sit down. <laughs> Danny Stutzman planted him. Smith back to pass. Flushed right. This will be the last play. Looking. Throws short. Caught at the 45. Up to midfield. Slips. Caught from behind. Balls loose. Kicked around. Picked up by a Cougar. Tackled from behind. Whistles blow. You can unhitch the wagon. All right, we're in the postgame locker room with defensive coordinator Zach Alley. Uh, mentality, mindset out there today. How impressed were you with the way your guys stepped up when they needed to? You know, I thought in critical situations we responded. I mean, the safety was obviously really clutch at the end. Um, you know, made a great play. A guy just doing his job and doing it really well. You know, gets off the ball and, and gets beats a block. And now, you you know, you give yourself a, a positive situation at the end of a game. And so, you know, I'm proud of our guys for how they responded when they had to. Other than – the one busted coverage, it seemed like your defense made them work for everything that they got tonight, but they did throw quite a bit at you, broke some tendencies, some things they clearly hadn't shown in week one. How, how do you think your defense responded to everything that they threw at them tonight? You know, I think we've got to do a better job of, of playing with some eye discipline and those type of things, you know, because it wasn't anything we hadn't seen at some point, whether it was from our offense, whether it was last season or now. But um, we just have to do a better job overall of, of just having great discipline in what we do. Um, but I felt that as we went through the game, you know, uh, we didn't put them in a ton of stressful situations uh, like we usually do, but we had a great opportunity to respond in, in, in you know, big moments. I think we, we were pretty good on third down, getting off the field, some of those things that, uh, you know, help us to, to get a victory out of this one. You, um, you really got some big-time play, mentioned from Grayson Halton. But overall, since you've, since you've come here, it's, we've seen a guy that has almost transformed himself. What have you seen from him that's really helped him reach this level to contribute the way he has in Grayson Halton? You know, I think uh, he was challenged in the offseason just to try and be the best version of himself because he's such a talented guy. I mean, really talented. And so uh, he really put the work in uh, to get to where he needs to be, both you know on the field and in the weight room and, and you know with his body and all that to get to a point where he can play at a high level. And, man, He's got some juice and some get off, and uh, you know you're seeing that come to fruition. You know that was the plan from the beginning, man. He's always been a really good player, and you know it's just coming to fruition for him. You're handling the inside backers. Danny Stutzman racked him up tonight. What 15 tackles for Stutzman? What'd you see from 28? Yeah, I mean he was an animal out there, um, just making plays where, man, he's he's you know ball commits he's out fast going to make the play and, and, and make it in the backfield and those type of things so uh, just a consummate leader and just has a really good understanding of where the ball is going to go and uh, I thought he did a good job uh, of playing pretty physical out there tonight too and I know he smoked a guy in the hole one time <laughs> some of that so uh, really proud of him and, and obviously everything you're looking for in a complete linebacker overall message to the team now going forward I feel good about the defense I, I, I know at one bust but really the, the way that these guys responded was pretty special you know, it's hard to win. It don't matter where or when or at any point in time. And so, uh, you know, we've got a lot of things to clean up, and I'd rather have a lot of things to clean up after after a dub than I would after a loss. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, we'll, we'll get in the film room and we'll get all that squared away for next week with a tremendous challenge coming up, and uh, we'll be ready to go come Saturday next week. Congrats on the win, Coach. Thank you, guys. We're in the locker room with Sooner Offensive Coordinator Seth Luttrell. Battle all night long. Kind of take me through your thoughts afterwards. You know, again, um, just – 
Biggest thing that you know, we did some decent things and uh, on some times in some different situations tonight in the red zone. We went two for two, scored two touchdowns. Um, you know, had a uh, you know finished off of a, kind of a four minute drive there at the end of the game to help us out. But obviously, um, inexcusable. Uh, some of the mistakes we made offensively, um, trying to push it downfield at times, not making plays. Um, whether we're in the passing game and the run game, you know, my whole thing is, you know, when there's plays to be had and when there's plays to be made, we gotta we gotta do a great job of executing and um, staying in the moment, making sure that uh, everybody's doing their job and, and doing it to a high level. And listen, it always starts with me. Um, I'm always gonna look at myself first and make sure that, uh, you know, we're gonna try to put them in the right situations to be successful. But at the same time, um, you know, just feel like we need to e execute a little better, especially on third downs again. If you're not staying on the field, moving the chains, it's uh, it's, it's pretty difficult to score, score touchdowns. Coach uh, struggled to get the running game going. What do you think? What, what do you think the issues are? Why, why do you think you're not finding the yardage, the explosive plays? Well, what do you think the what do you think is going wrong with the running game? Well, I think it's not just O line. It's not just running back. Uh, we all have a play a part to play in that. Whether it's the the quarterback making the right decisions and some of the RPOs, whether it's up front, blocking it better, whether it's, uh, you know, hitting it right with the with the running backs, uh, blocking great on the perimeter with our tag games. Um, you know, so a lot goes in the run game. Uh, again, I'll, I'll watch it, to, you know, tonight and tomorrow and, and make sure that, uh, you know, I, I fully have a better understanding. Um, but obviously, we got to get that, that the run game going, um, you know, and and able to, uh, you know, get rhythm, get flow in the, in, the, in the offense and then be able to make our plays down the field when we have those opportunities. When the offense – doesn't perform the way that clearly everyone that has a part in it wants it to. What What is your role as the offensive coordinator to keep these young men up, right? To not let them get too down on themselves when, you know, they didn't have a great night. Well, the first thing, it's never as good and it's never as bad as, you know, you can always look at each and every game and as good as you ever thought it was, you always come back and know there's room for improvement. And there, there's no, it's no different uh, when you didn't execute well. You know, there's going to be things on tape that were positives, uh, things that we're just a little bit off here and there, and there's going to be things that you know we got to hold each other accountable to. And so it always starts with me. I'll, I'll be the first to tell them. You know, I'm going to look myself in the mirror tonight and make sure, uh, you know, as I, I you know watch this tape and uh, get back and evaluate uh, tomorrow with our offensive staff. It's always going to start with me. Uh, but everybody has to man up and look in the mirror and, and ask themselves what could they have done better. And that's that's part of life. Uh, but again, we got to quit. Oklahoma can't beat Oklahoma. We got to get out of our own way at times and. I feel like too many opportunities, um, you know, that are that are on the field there to be had that we're not taking advantage of those situations, and we have to. All right, congrats on the win, Coach. Appreciate your time as always. Appreciate you. Thank you. Bye, bye. From the Robert Spears Jennings first chance that we've had a chance to talk in the post game, man. So welcome, congratulations. Thank you, Take sir. me through um, how this season. Well, I mean, let's let's talk about the game first. Heartbreak at times, and then uh, you get back in there and, and you grind away, get your first pick. Take me through how it felt out there tonight. Uh, it just felt great. You know, defense, we stepped up. You know, offense was struggling a little bit, but we know we had their back, just like they'll have ours if we were struggling. Mm -hmm. So it just felt great. Atmosphere outside was great, and we just took full advantage of it. We, we've asked this of just about everyone who's come through, but you feel it. There's a 10 minute difference in time of possession. You guys are on the field a lot. What's the mindset? What, what makes this team be able to handle a situation like that? Practice. We, we practice them situations all day. Uh, our side of the practice be World War Three, Coach V. So just knowing, <laughs> hey, practice is harder than the games for the most part. So it was just another practice for us. Chemistry in the back end of the defense is such a big thing. You guys are playing multiple guys. How have you been able to develop chemistry with Peyton Bowen and Billy Bowman? Like, how, how does that work for you when you're out there with multiple guys, depending on what the series looks like? Um, the chemistry comes from outside of football. We all hang out with each other. We're all like, we're all basically Billy's little brother in our <laughs> eyes. So, <laughs> hey, so that just builds our chemistry all together. And we all know that if I can trust him, he's going to trust me. And we're all going to hoop together. We're all going to eat together. Where is the confidence level at with the defense as a whole? You guys have two really nice performances to start the season. Uh, we're at an all-time high, but we know we can get better. You know, tackling for us was not the best today. So we're going to go practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Probably full on live tackle, just trying to get our tackling better. Um, we got to do a lot of good things. We did a lot of good things on tape, but we got to fix the little things because the opponents see the little things as well. We're in the locker room with Brendan Thompson. First touchdown catch at home. Um, and uh, a, a big day overall. How, how did it feel 
getting in the end zone. Take me through that catch. Man, just it always feels good to get in the end zone. Uh, you know, no matter what time it is, no matter if it's a Tuesday practice or if it's a Saturday game, it always feels good to get in the end zone. So just starting to starting the tempo off right, you know, during the game or you know first drive of the game, I thought that was right, and you know we got in the end zone, so definitely got the juice going from the start. Walk us through that. <clears throat> It looked like you knew, hey, this ball's coming my way with the way that the defense was aligned. No doubt. As soon as the safety left, I knew I had to get in that gap and, and you know, give eyes to Jackson. Uh, so that's what I did. And at the end of the day, no matter if that ball is thrown in front of me, behind me, my feet, you know, above my head, I got to find a way to make a play. What has it been like for you? So hard, you, so hard, <laughs> all your hard work, you've battled through so many injuries. To see yourself not only at the top of the depth chart, but out there making plays, Brent. And I know it's never a mission accomplished thing, but how good does that feel personally? I'm sure it's just as good as you, you imagine it feels, man. It, it, you know, just having the opportunity to, to come to a place like OU, you know, with such a great staff, surrounded by such, you know, good people all the time, all day, uh, every day. It's just, it really is a blessing. Uh, you know, and I feel like God has really put me in a spot to, to lead and to step up and, and, you know, be the be the guy. And so, you know, I, I try to come in here with a positive attitude every day. Clearly not the type of performance you guys were hoping for, not the type of performance you guys work all week to put on tape, but how do you make sure that you guys stay positive, right, and, and, and stick together? I think that's just, you know, coming down to just keeping our composure. Uh, I think it comes down to, to our leaders, if I'm being honest. I think, you know, when, when things aren't going your way, and they're not going to go your way. Every game, you know, there's going to be adversity. Every day there's adversity. And so I think just – battling through that and I think you know with the the summer we had with Schmitty you know really since January we, we've you know fought adversity and so it's nothing we're, we're not used to and so we just got to keep pushing. I know everyone's kind of in their own uh, world at times you'll be with coach Jones and your receivers the running backs will be together and, and Jackson will be off with the quarterbacks but when when you see the struggles and you know that maybe things aren't going the way Jackson wants, do you say something to him or is he just the kind of guy that you don't have to say anything to him? I definitely say something to him, um, but at the same time, I make sure it's positive. Uh, you know, there, there's times for me to say something. There's yeah. times for me not to say something, um, you know, and I think I, I know those times. I think, I, you know, me and Jackson's relationship is strong enough, you know, so if I do come to him that, you know, he's not going to take offense. Um, and, you know, if I do come to him, I'm not coming at him, you know, a certain way. I expect him right. to come to me, you know, if he needs to correct me. And, you know, that, that's that's just the relationship we have, and I'm blessed to have that with him. We're in the locker room with Woody Washington. First of all, good to have you back. Man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good Appreciate to have it. you back. Um, congrats. I know it didn't count, but come on, man. Take me through the one-handed interception. How did that feel? Oh, it felt great. I mean, I mean, the call was crazy. I thought I, thought I had good technique. <laughs> I did, too. Um, I was told that the ref said that I cut the receiver off. That's why he called the flag, but... I thought that was my job, but <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, hopefully I get more opportunities like that uh, throughout the rest of the year, so, but it, it felt good. Been battling some things through training camp, just where, where are you at physically, and, and how do you feel you perform tonight, just on, on a, from a physical standpoint, do you feel like you're all the way back? Oh, uh, yes, sir, I feel great, um, foot felt good today. Uh, really didn't have any other issues. Um, practice uh, the, the entire week uh, felt good during practice, and you know, just trying to go out there and make as many plays as I could. But so, felt good tackling, doing all the uh, the small things. Yes, sir. Hey, I, I want to ask just something off the beaten path, real quick. We had you, um, what that that 2021 recruiting class, and then the yours, and then Latrell McCutcheon out there. That I mean, that had to be kind of a cool moment to see him back out there again. No, yeah, right? definitely. Uh, him and Jamal Morris. Yeah, yeah uh, it was good seeing those guys. I haven't seen them in a while. Um, just being able to compete against uh, some of my older teammates is it's always fun. And, uh, you know, glad we came out with the dub. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it, was, it was a close one, but I'm glad we uh, we got the dub. You've seen a mindset shift here at Oklahoma, and it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if, you know, four years ago people would be on the sidelines. The defense has got to stop everyone, and you feel overly confident there, there'd be challenges. This team, they, you guys wanted that. I mean, there wasn't any concerns whatsoever. Can you take us through that mindset, uh, mindset shift and kind of what's led to it? Uh, kind of what I just told the cornerback group. Uh, I told them, like, basically two years ago, I felt like we would have found a way to lose that game. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, we came a long way. As far as, uh, you know, Coach V putting it into our heads uh, on finish, finish, finish. And I think uh, that show tonight uh, took it all the way back to, to, to coaching stations in January and uh, the summer runs to the to the one tens we used to run, just trying to make sure we finished, it, finished those off. And, you know, that's what we did. Looking at, clearly it's not just about the defensive side of the ball. Uh, offense struggled tonight. 
as one of the leaders of the team, a veteran guy, how do you handle that with the guys on the offensive side? Do you say something? Do you just let let them handle it themselves? How do you handle when the other side of the ball struggles like that? Uh, you know, you just got to uh, tell them keep pushing. Uh, that's what I was harping to Jackson, uh, just tell them to get the O-line going, get those uh, receivers and the running backs going. Um, and as far as the defense goes, like, we just got to have each other's back. Uh, Kendall Doby said it before the game, uh, be your brother's keeper. And I think that's what we did. Good to have you back, man. Congrats yes, on the win. Yes, sir, Find a way. Woody Washington. Sooner Football with Brent Venables is brought to you by – Taco Mayo. Big appetite, bigger savings. Download and save today. Flogistics, the oil industry's leader in vapor recovery and production optimization. Air Comfort Solutions, your total home solution for plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and electrical. Make the winning call today. Sooner Football with Brent Venables is brought to you by Mathis Home the official furniture sponsor of OU Athletics. Here's a look at the upcoming schedule presented by Mathis Home, including the Sooners welcoming the Tulane Green Wave to Norman for their second of four straight home games. This week's scouting report is brought to you by Riverwind Casino. Good times, great rewards. Tulane comes in one and one after losing by a touchdown Saturday at home, 34-27 to Kansas State. And, Coach, we will talk a little bit more about that, but uh, they really played well. Mm -hmm. Tulane led 27-20 with 14 minutes left in the game, and K-State scored to tie it. And uh, I don't know how much you got to keep up with it, but they played winning football, and, and you respect that uh, program. No doubt. Yeah, we've, we've watched them a lot and certainly have paid attention to what uh, – when Coach Fritz was there the last several years and what they've been able to do with – type of program they've they've been able to build you know they've recruited well they developed really well several of those players are there and then there's some really good young players they got uh, several they're pretty aggressive in the transfer portal uh, with the NIL they've got some really good support there yeah uh, that probably surprised a lot of people and they're able to attract some really good players they've got excellent skill a veteran offensive line they got four guys back that were you know a really good offensive line, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they know how to run the ball. Love their running back, 21. Uh, again, excellent receivers. They got some big, long tight ends. Quarterback that is really a talented guy can run and throw. And then they play really sound on defense. Uh, the head coach is a defensive guy, and, um, and a longtime defensive coordinator, and, and did a great job at Troy. And, uh, again, I know they lost the game, but but. They probably gained a lot of confidence, you know, and probably, uh, you know, look at, you know, the opportunities they had. I think it was first and goal, maybe mm -hmm. on the one. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, they threw the ball and got the interference call, I believe, uh, maybe p offensive pass interference yeah. when right. it was ruled that it was a touchdown. And then, uh, you know, with the way they run the ball, I'm sure that was uh, disappointing uh, right there. But. Um, again, we we got to focus on us. We got a lot that we got to get better at, and uh, I think that goes without saying. Captain obvious here, but we got a lot of work to do, and uh, find a way to improve this week, get better, uh, not make the continue to make the same mistakes, and and um, give guys an opportunity uh, because you, you can't. You know, again, I know there's you just don't have this long rolodex of guys, but you know guys are. Um, they give an opportunity, man. They got to be able to show up, make layups, and you know, be able to do their job. Yep. And uh, so we got a lot. Got to get some guys healed up as well. Will help. That would uh, that would help. Yep. That's where I was going. But coach, congratulations! Thank it you. didn't all go the way you wanted it yep. to, but it was a W. And yep. heading uh, next week, looking forward to hosting Tulane for the head coach. I'm Dean Blevins. Thanks for watching Sooner Football with Brent Venables. We'll see you in a week.